And welcome back. We're joined live in the studio now by Arlene Spires, a candidate for the Fortuna City Council election next week. Arlene, thank you so much for joining us on Redwood News. Thank you, John. It's a real pleasure. I know you've been a bit nervous, but please don't be. Yes. That's right. <laughs> now, Arlene, I'd like to start by asking, what relevant experience would you bring to the council if you're elected? Well, for several years, I was the business manager of a school district. And so I was responsible for managing and creating and uh, maintaining a $10 million budget with a three-year forecast. And so I have integrity and I have um, a will to really provide for the people of Fortuna. I really love Fortuna. And I've lived there for over 40 years, raised my family there. And it's really important to me that we continue keeping Fortuna a safe community so that we have a safe place for like for my grandchildren and their children. Now, I think you've already touched on some of this, but what are the biggest issues you believe Fortuna citizens are facing? Well, you know, I really think that um, Fortuna has a hard time getting businesses to open in Fortuna. And I don't think it's the fault of the businesses. I think Fortuna could be a bit more friendly in that area. Um, I would love to see Fortuna be proactive and address the empty buildings that are on Main Street, for example, and make them business ready. So a business can come into Fortuna, they have a place to go, and they don't have to have all these costs up front before they can even open their doors. Now, what would be your top priorities, therefore, for your constituents if you are elected? Well, I would really like to keep this good thing going in Fortuna, which is a a safe community with plenty of opportunity and growth and diversity. And I think, like I said, expanding our businesses and also, but keeping Fortuna, that small town feel, it's very important to people in Fortuna that we have that small town feel. Now, part of being the role of the councillor is obviously working collaboratively with your fellow councillors. Mm -hmm. How will you attempt to reach agreement when you really don't share the views of your fellow councillors? That's a good question because I'm sure that's going to come up, but I just want to be sure that everybody knows in Fortuna that it's, it's, it's your voice and it's your thoughts that will fuel my actions. And so I'm going to represent everybody in Fortuna, and if it's different from what a, than what a council member has their views, I will stay with the views that is directed to me by the city of Fortuna. Now, the pay structure for the councillors does make it almost certainly a part-time role. I mean, that's inevitable. But how will you balance your, your other roles, your day job, with being a council member? Yes. Well, I work for an agency that is very local and community-minded. It's a health care agency, and I'm a grants and contracts analyst there. And so I have a flexible schedule so that if I do need to leave early for a meeting, I can do that. It's no problem. And there's just a, usually a couple meetings a week in Fortuna. And I know there's other committees that we can join, as, that we are expected to join, and I really want to. That meet maybe a couple times a week, too, during the evening. So I, I have been attending the planning commission meetings, the city council meetings, the Measure E meetings, and viewing all the meetings I can on Access Humboldt, the Humboldt County Supervisors, and the Planning Commissions for the other cities. So I really love it, and I just, I just love the learning process, and I'm just going to get better at it as time goes on. Now, it is a very important role in our community, but there have been other issues with similar office holders in recent years, nationally as well as locally. How would you avoid falling into any negative situation personally? Well, for myself, I... I, I have a lot of integrity and I just, I'm transparent and I am not going to do things that aren't right, that aren't according to our policy and the ordinances that the city of Fortuna has established. So keeping things on just on the up and up and being honest and transparent. Well, Arlene, we've got about 30 seconds or so left. What would you like to share with the viewers just before we go? Well, thank you. Um, I really am excited about about running for the city of Fortuna. I've been I've been thinking about it for a few years now, and I feel like this is a great opportunity to give back to the city that I love so much, and to keep it here for my, like I said, for my grandchildren and their children. And um, I just I just want to do the best by Fortuna. I would be honored to be a voice for Fortuna. Well, Arlene, that's a great answer. Thank you so much for coming into Redwood News. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank, thank you. Good you. luck with the election. Thank and we'll you. be right back after this short break.